Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Our scripture for this morning will come from James chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. James chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. If you haven't, I ask that all those who please stand, if you're able to stand in respect for God's word, please do so. James chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. If you haven't, say amen. 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 It reads, From whence come wars and fighting among you? Come they not hence even of your lust that war is in your members? Ye lust, and ye have not. Ye kill, and ye desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and not receive, because you ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is at enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Do ye think that the scripture saith this in vain? For the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth even to envy. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Amen. Speak not evil of one another, brethren, that, the speaketh, uh, that he that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh <laughs> evil to the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy who art thou to judgest one another? This concludes the scripture reading. I have read to you James chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. Let a blessing be given to the readers, to the hearers, and most of all, to the doers of this holy divine word. We'll now be led in prayer by Brother Fred Murphy. 